Hey, what's up, Liberon here. Thank you for joining me in today's video. If you're interested in selling your paintings, I think this video will be interesting for you. I want to go over and recap the latest auction. Uh, it was last Saturday, the 13th, uh, where I auctioned off nine paintings with the auction house I've been working with called Cuckoo. Great auction house, wonderful to work with. Um, and so I auctioned nine paintings. I want to go over the results with you because this was a bit of a roller coaster uh, and an interesting auction with a lot of um, minor disappointments, but also a lot of successes, I would say. Um, so the people who usually purchase from this auction house are collectors uh, and investors um, in art. So people who uh, like to buy mostly art by younger artists and kind of both collect and also invest in the long term. Uh, and one thing I will say is my ambition is always to make sure anyone who buys a painting from me ends up being happy with the value because I always plan on keeping increasing their value. Uh, so let's go over it real quick. Sorry for the long intro. Uh, so we have here the first one, Making Pesto, which is a wonderful painting. You've seen it in many places. Uh, the start price, and they like to start with lower uh, start prices to entice uh, people to place a bid. Um, so this started at 280 quite happy with the result, $400. Um, I think it makes a lot of sense. Now, I will say this entire auction was... Um, a bit unusual because of you know the current economic state and the situation here locally uh, you could uh, definitely feel there is more hesitancy to spend money that's just how it is uh, when the market let's say is more uh, bearish that's just how it feels so the entire context of this auction was yes it was a bit of a more bearish i would say uh, auction but in any case uh, so this one quite pleased with started to 80 ended up at 400 uh, then we have bistro another painting i put quite a lot of effort into absolutely love the way this guy turned out um started same start price and at 400 so far so good i was quite happy uh, then we have out in the field so this is a bit more of an experimentational painting and i knew it as i was making it um i don't have experience in i didn't have at least experience in how these sell like portraits with a bit of a uh, background behind them um but yeah, I absolutely love it. I stand behind it 100%. But uh, yes, sometimes, you know, you win some, you lose some. So this one uh, did not get a bid at all. Uh, by the way, some of these had offers before the auction started. That's how it works. A month in advance, you can place start placing bids, basically. And then uh, the couple of hours of the live auction, they go item by item. This is item uh, 1, 5, 20. So, of course, there were other items by other artists in between. Uh, but in any case, yep. And then after a long break between 20 and item 38, uh, there's this one, Tel Aviv Cleaner. So this is the cleaning car here in Tel Aviv. Uh, a bit disappointed with this one. Uh, I'm happy it sold, but I was sure it deserved a bit more just because of the level of polish and details. Um, but yeah, again, that's just how it is. So it ended up, uh, it didn't get an offer before the auction. Then during the auction, someone placed a 180 and then a 190. It ended at that. Uh, same for this one, Hadera, uh, a picture I took from Friends Balcony. And this is a part of the 100, both of these are part of the 100 Cars Challenge. I thought it would end higher once again. It just hit the start price. That's fine, whatever. Now, Cactus, this was um, a surprise and a bit of a disappointment to me. Now, I'm actually, when I look at the sold price, I'm pleased with, and, and you've seen Cactus. This is a painting I'm very proud of. I think one of my best, I put it in my top nine for 2023, by the way. Um, the thing is, I'm quite okay with the sold price, which is also the start price, $400, uh, but the time it took it to sell. So it didn't get a, an offer before that, and during the auction, it stood there for like, uh, half a minute, a minute, until someone placed that bid. To me, this painting could very well end up, could have very well ended up at $500, $600, $700. It's a bit larger as well. Uh, this is a smaller one. This is double that one. And this is double the size of this one. Should have ended at a, at a higher price. But I will say, in the context of this auction... Um, I'm still happy with it. Uh, I do think it could, you know, whoever picked it up, it's a win. Uh, if you ever want to resell it, I'm pretty sure you could resell it for at least double the price. Uh, and again, that's my goal with anyone who purchases my paintings to always have them be investable as well. Um, so here we have Wipers, one of my paintings that I think got uh, the most likes and reactions on Instagram. 
I was uh, shocked. It did not get any offers. Starting price 360, did not get pre-bids, did not get any bids during the live auction. Whatever. Now, we have a huge success here. I'm just going to mention this last one before we get to it because this was another weird one. Let's talk about plating. So plating is definitely in my top nine for 2023. It's probably one of the best paintings I've ever created, close to OCD, like the first one. Same quality, pretty much. Um, and this one, so the start price was $300. And then in the pre-bid, pre-auction stage, it got up to $700. So, and that's about the price, uh, the first OCD sold, I think it was $600 or $700. So... At this point, and especially within the context of the the entire auction itself, um, I will say that I was happy with the 700. Even I was like, okay, 700, it's awesome. Um, even if it's gonna just stay on that price, I, I feel a, a bit better after the previous disappointments. But then it immediately started getting more bids, so it, it went up to immediately 1100, and then 1200, 1300, 1400, ended up at 16. Hundred dollars, which I'm very happy with, very proud of, and I will say that is, if I'm not mistaken, the highest price I sold a painting for so far. And to me, this is just the beginning. I'm sure there will be more. I'm sure there will, I'll surpass that price for sure. It's just a matter of time. But I have to say, I'm super proud of this one. Uh, it's again the most. So, so I basically broke my my record, so to speak. And uh, this amounts to about six thousand shekels local currency. See, so it's like a, a hefty price. Very proud of that. And thank you so much to whoever purchased it. Um, kind of made up for all the rest of the auction, I have I have to admit. Uh, because I was at a, at a kind of not, not as good of a mood because of the previous ones. Uh, and that brings us to... Uh, so anyway, huge success for this one. Um, and by the way, I have to mention, uh, now I remember, uh, 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 $1,600 is the highest price so i tied with another lovely beautiful oil portrait and if you filter by highest price on this auction it's me and that other painting for the highest price sold for the entire auction so that's amazing to me um and then for the last one uh listen to this <laughs> check it out um the this painting is i mean it's one of my best for 2023. It almost made, by the way, the top nine list. It almost got there. I had to, I remember I had 10 and I had to remove one because I. it was so hard to decide. I ended up removing this one, but this did not get any offers in the pre-auction uh, stage and it did not get any offers during the auction, which I'm shocked. I think it should end at 500, 600. Easy, easy because of the level of its polish. And to the credit of... Um, the auction house, she immediately, she saw that it doesn't get interest and she immediately cut it after like 10 seconds or 20 seconds. Because when you put a painting like this where, to my feeling, it should be so much, it should earn so much of a higher price, any second you let it stay there really um, um, uh, almost, you know, hurts its its value in a way. It's really not in... in it, it just doesn't work. You have to cut it immediately and try again in the future because it just doesn't make sense to me. So this was a huge uh, disappointment, I think. Um, now, when I look at this uh, auction overall, uh, in the overall sense, I am happy with it, and especially considering the circumstances uh, with the economy and everything, people are more bearish indeed. Uh, so I do have to say I'm quite happy with it. I'm just a bit disappointed with specific stuff that didn't sell, like this one, this one, and this one. I'm I'm like, at this point, I knew, okay, it's not me. It's them meaning it's not the painting that is the cause. Uh, it's not a problem with the painting. It's just where people's head is at. Uh, but then we have this huge success that really makes up for the whole thing. I will say that one thing I dislike about uh, the auction format, and it has nothing to do with the format, more with me, I don't like the rush. I don't like the that feeling where something does really well and I feel hyped and excited and then something does really bad. And like the ups and downs, I would love to ideally not be affected by it, just make the best piece of art I can um, and put it out there uh, and have it sell and just be completely agnostic to, you know, the results, so to speak. I'm not there yet, but I, I am 
making very concrete steps to be there. Um, even for these huge successes, I still I don't like the the way it makes me you know really be um, affected emotionally by them because the positive and the negative they're both the s it's two sides of the same coin. Uh, if you're sad by the <laughs> unsold works, you'll be excited and exhilarated by the sold paintings. It's just a roller coaster that you know. I won't lie; it is fun, which is why I still feel it. But I am I I'm making steps towards not being as affected by it. But in any case. Thank you so, so much. I don't want to ramble and waffle on. If you are interested in selling your paintings, this is kind of, I think, an inside view as to what it feels like on the artist side could be interesting. I did talk before about how to uh, reach uh, auction houses and galleries. So that's something you can look, uh, search for in, in my videos. Um, but I will say it's very doable once you get to a certain point where you're confident about your work and you do have, you can make, create a series of paintings that work and communicate who you are as an artist. Um, you don't have to be the best artist in the world to get there. It is very doable. I hope you'll give it a try if that's something you're interested in. And I hope you'll check out my paintings. Uh, you can uh, take a look on my gallery, lerongallery.com. I did add a couple of new ones. Um, and I want to thank you so, so much for watching. And I want to thank everyone who supports me over on Patreon. It's huge, huge help. Uh, you allow me to make all of this content. And yeah, this is it for today. I will uh, catch you in another video. I believe it's going to be a painting process next one. Thank you so, so much. We'll talk to you again real soon.